Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Rajguru Chemistry. In the previous video, we have discussed about the topic of electrochemistry, conductometric titration in case of strong acid, strong base, weak acid, strong base, and weak acid and weak base. These links are given in the description box. Today, we are going to discuss the topic of electrochemistry in conductometric titration in case of precipitation titration for the example of barium chloride and potassium sulfate. Principle of precipitation titration The reaction in which chemical reaction between two solutions takes place and they will form a precipitate. Various examples are there. Sodium chloride and silver nitrate gives silver chloride and sodium nitrate. Silver chloride is precipitate. Potassium chloride and silver nitrate it forms silver chloride as a precipitate and barium chloride magnesium sulfate gives us a precipitate of barium sulfate. Barium chloride and sodium sulfate gives barium sulfate and sodium chloride. Barium chloride is an analyte and sodium sulfate is tightened. Barium sulfate is a precipitate. Now we have taken the example of barium chloride and sodium sulfate. Precipitation titration the reaction is given by barium chloride and sodium sulfate. Barium sulfate as a precipitate and sodium chloride is formed. Barium chloride is the analyte which is taken in the beaker and sodium sulfate is tritened which is taken in the burette. Barium sulfate is sparingly soluble salt. It does not dissociate. Na plus and Cl minus ions are low ionic conductivity than Ba2 plus. Now let us come to the practical session for precipitation titration. Barium chloride as a sodium sulfate. The aim of this experiment is to determine the strength of given barium chloride by conductometric titration. Requirements of this experiment is barium chloride, sodium sulfate, burette, pipette, beaker, glass rod, conductivity meter with a cell. Next come to the procedure. 20 ml of dissolution is pipetted out into a clean 100 ml beaker and added 30 ml of conductivity water. So that the conductivity cell is completely immersed into the solution. Conductivity cell consists of two platinum electrodes in which one of the electrodes acts as the anode, another acts as the cathode. Sodium sulfate solution of strength 0.5 N is added in 0.5 ml portions into the beaker. The solution is treated well and allowed to attain equilibrium. Then see the conductivity of the solution between two electrodes because of the movement of positively and negatively ions of the opposite electrodes. It shows conductance. The conductance is mainly due to the Be2 plus ions which have high ionic mobility as sodium sulfate is added, barium sulfate precipitate is formed which is sparingly soluble salt. The conductivity of the solution decreases due to the replacement of barium 2 plus ions by slow moving Na plus ions. Once the end point reached after the neutralization, there will be an increase in conductance due to barium 2 plus ions have the high ionic mobility. At equivalent point or neutralization point, all the barium chloride reacted with the sodium sulfate, only barium sulfate and sodium chloride are present. After the neutralization or equivalence point, excess addition of sodium sulfate, the conductance will increases. The conductance is noted and is plotted versus the volume of sodium sulfate is added. The point of intersection of two straight lines gives the end point. This end point is the volume of sodium sulfate for the complete neutralization of barium chloride. Then we calculate the strength of barium chloride. Strength of sodium sulfate is 0.5 N. Volume of sodium sulfate is 20 ml, volume of barium chloride is got from the graph. From this value, we can calculate the strength of barium chloride. This graph is same for the titration of strong acid and strong base. As finally, we have to calculate the strength of barium chloride solution. If you like this video, share the video and click the bell icon, you get more notification. Thanks for watching.